The trial of the Ripped Ryoma is really heating up. We must keep a beady eye on all of the suspects. However, we must remember, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Well, that is except for Monokuma who set up trial number two in the first place. Although saying that, trial number two kind of sounds like we've got a bit of a bathroom disaster on the go. This ain't no time for jokes or messing about. This is serious business. We must get justice for Ryoma. Hey, 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 everyone, Razbowski here, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 and out, baby. We're at the midway point in the second trial and things are looking real spicy. And when Papa says extra spicy, you know he means business. We know how little Ryoma's body was stored. We know how that boy was ripped, but we don't know what time the incident occurred. And at this point in time, we have no idea who done it. That's what makes this extra spicy. And guys, if you're hyped for this video, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Let's shoot for 2,000 beautiful likes. And you already know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. 2,000 beautiful likes gets you that bonus video next Saturday. And the story just keeps getting even more delicious, so you know you want to hit that goal. And if you're extra special spicy hype for this part of the trial, then in the comment section below type hashtag hope. And we'll dive straight in, baby. Woo! Just use your almighty big boy brain, Papa. You will work this case out. And then finally, we will have justice for Ioma. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Hold on a second, buddy. Nobody's voted for anybody at this point. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What the hell are you saying? Oh, wait a second. What result? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Aww. Yes, it has. Don't you remember, Morosuke? <laughs> mm, no, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Monotaro. Uh-oh. Oh, man, you're right. Silly me. I'm so forgetful. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyway, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to chapter three. What the hell are you saying? Wait a second, we don't know the culprit yet. Aww. Yeah, who killed Rontaro? <laughs> that was chapter one's case. How can you be this forgetful? They're idiots. They're all idiots. I'm surrounded by clowns. I'm surrounded by clowns. Another shocking truth revealed. Back to square one. No, we're not back to square one. Square one? No, it's no. Square one. They wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. What? After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. Wow. What does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument like this one. Okay. I, I think they were throwing some shade at somebody, but I don't know who it was. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just going to throw out more lies. Prove it, buddy. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Then you must hate yourself. You're one to talk. Exactly, Himiko. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. Oh. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Oh. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Yeah. Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? That would be convenient, wouldn't it? Maybe. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Oh, she did say she was going to ignore it. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? I don't think that was it. I think Ry Ryoma was being a gentleman. If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Right. Then who was it that told Ryoma about his cub's pet? Hmm. Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? It would have to be someone who knew who had each pad. Well, there's only one person, isn't there? There's only one person. Where is he? Where is that little toe rag? Come here, you son of a gun. Oh, really? You're going to make me go all the way around this guy? This son of a gun. Of course, it's, it's him you. stirring up trouble. Always stirring up trouble, you. That would be Kokichi. Kokichi's not the Ripper, I don't think. Cubs pads, gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video. So you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? Mm -mm. When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. 
Oh, wow. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Wow, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? No, she doesn't sleep there. And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motive video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. That's a strong will to decline that. So strong. you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. Exactly, there is no evidence. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? You make her seem I suspicious. I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? What for? Ripping him! Kirumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? Yeah, it seems a bit fickle, doesn't it? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Tell her off, Karumi. Tell her, go on, mommy on her. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! I don't... Uh, no, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm... Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Exactly. Huh? What now? You're you troublemaker. You answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, of course it is. He's trying to stir things up. Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? Mm. If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. It's just poetic justice, my friend. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. You're, you're a Just as I thought. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Oh, did he? Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted, like, a movie screening party. Really? I just checked who had whose, so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm, I see. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. It's still not no. evidence, though. We cannot be too sure about that yet. It's still he said, she said. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Shikurumi's taking a, a foothold of this debate, isn't she? Then which is it? A lie? Or not lie? She's not lying. Can't you tell just by looking at her? If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No. This is a world of lies and betrayal. Himiko! It breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things! I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. Yeah, there's gotta be evidence. This is difficult to determine. There's gotta be some evidence somewhere. Maki got is it. lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during nighttime. I'm telling the truth. Look me in the eyes and say it. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. And I, I, I said I would believe in Kaito. That means believing in Maki. And that means I have to do it. I need us all on the same page. I have to change where this argument is going, just like Kaede did. So we gotta lie. We've gotta commit perjury. That's what that hint is there. We've gotta commit perjury, okay. How do we do that? How do we do that? I wanna commit file, go into scout insect meet and greet Maki alone. It's gotta be Maki alone. The previous night. <sighs> what a load of crap. 
Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Oops, oop, I did, did that. Did anyone see those two together? Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Would come forward already. That would have, uh, if that no was one can prove that this meeting took place. Oh, no, wait, wait, can I just shoot? There's no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. Yeah, I've, As I've expected, got... Maki is lying to us. Nope, 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 nope. you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie. No, I've got a lie. I've definitely got a lie. If no one can prove that this meeting took place. Yeah, me, I can prove it is. Okay, there we are. I, I knew it was truth. that. I knew it was perjury, baby. Woo, yeah. I knew I had to lie my little face I off. I might not be able to prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh, man, perjury's not a good thing to do, buddy. Oh, please explain. Yeah, please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Oh, so we're ringing Kaito in on this as well. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. This is a when we heard lie. two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. Oh. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute. If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. Oh, they're so gullible. No, no, hold up. Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Oh, oh, crap. Um, uh, uh, it was embarrassing. Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. Oh yeah, that's true, because we didn't discover at the no time of death. To bring it up. Yeah! Now, now, we don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. Oh, he's good at lying! But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. Oh, and now he's putting it on every other person. He's so smart. He's like, well, did any, did, 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 did any of you talk to Maki last night? I didn't think so. So it must be right on my boom. <laughs> Nobody Brilliant. say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. Exactly. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? Why would we? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. But that's just weird. We are still part of a killing game, after all. Hmm, Kurumi. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Why the scary face? And why the front foot? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. <laughs> anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonta will believe, friends. Oh, Gonta. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Well, at least I'll get some rest for once, because there's some sleepless nights here, and I won't have to train with Kaito anymore. Although I'm enjoying our bromance. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Okay, good. Belief shall set you free. Hell yeah. I'd be so so surprised if Shuichi was a liar, especially after we believed him for so long. Oh, he's rubbing it in, he knows. He wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. Oh, he so knows. All right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. But... I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? Exactly. So, everyone is culprit again? Unfortunately, my buddy boy. Oh, we're right back where we started. What a pain. Yeah. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? Must have been overnight. Well, the gym is locked at nighttime, so it must have been the next morning. But the window was open, remember? That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? Yeah, through the window, so though. Did we f up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? No, we're right on the money there. I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. Come on, let me speak, let me speak. And when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? Give me the time to speak. When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? 
Mackie was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before night time. And if it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves... The only time they could have done it was during night time, huh? Yeah. Did you forget the gym's not open at night time, cheese? She's really got away with words. Really good at painting a colorful image in my mind. Cheese. <laughs> but that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. That's not the only. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. What? How, do, how does that help? What a terrible title for a guard. <laughs> Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at nighttime. Yes, you can. Kimiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagree. I see through your arguments. What? Why is Monokuma getting involved? What? A disagreement? Oh, no. You mean you're split down the middle again? Don't get all riled up. It's Jimmy's then gonna get rustled. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. Yippee! We've been waiting for this. I bet you have. Oh, no. Jeez. We gotta do that whole crazy thing again. I just noticed Mono Cub's um, little rip sign as well. Rest in peace, sweet Mono Cub. It seems like our opinions are split on this matter, but if we focus on the evidence, the facts will become clear. Yes, all I have to do is show them and make them accept it. If I can't get them to see the truth now, my lie would have been for nothing. I won't fail. You're damn right, Shuichi, we won't fail. You're damn right, let's do this. Monokum is going to get out his didgeridoos, he's going to get his key of love out, he's going to spin it round, and we're all going to go to the more phenomenal trial grounds. I love this game, and how they've changed up the whole uh, trial system, and they've added new elements whilst keeping the old classic ones as well. And this one is one of my particular favourites, it's just absolutely mwah, majestic and beautiful. It's like a stairway to heaven, and to the truth! Okay, when was the body put in the piranha tank? The next morning? During night time. It was during night time, 100%. The scrum debate start. Okay, here we go. The body just before the morning announcement? That's Andy, the one I need to use. I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. And the music is lit, son. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? 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 Where's the culprit? Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Okay, rules. Kanto. Yeah, that's fine. Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. Exactly. The piranha oh. tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I've yeah, it's fine. This. We've got tank here. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. Boom, baby! Of course you can. next to gym also off limits at night. Yeah, yeah that's Entering fine. the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. Exactly, exactly. You can't go swimming. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Tenko. Yeah, of course. Okay, Why not? Because we have Shuichi's testimony, too. What's the lie? So the other one is missed. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? The irony that I missed, the mist, is uh, not lost on me. Himiko. Missed. Himiko, here we go. Right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Exactly, my girl. Boom. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Circle. I'm going to smack him down, baby. I'm too good at this. I'm too good at smacking buttons. I will smack him up. This is our answer. Slap him about. Full counter, baby. Break him. Break their soul. Break their whip. Break through their argument to find the it's delicious true truth. You cannot enter the gym at nighttime, but a corpse could. Mm. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. Exactly. That window is higher than the piranha tank, and it's pretty close by. Exactly, and if you have a look where the scrape marks are, that it could be easily lowered into the tank. Curtains might have been closed, but the window was open the whole investigation. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. So whoever helped with the tank placement, which was Kibo, Kaito, Angie, Himiko, and was there another? I think it was just them. It can't be Kibo, right? It can't be. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window, the window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. 
mm, there's a ladder. But at the same time, somebody was working on the curtains, which was Kurumi. So Kurumi could be a suspect here as well. She could have done it. Ryoma was small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. Oh, that would have been too accurate. You'd have to be a genius. Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. That is true. Gentlemen don't do that. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. I know. They used the ladder in the gym. Thank you, Angie. Something helpful for once. I have to tell you that. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? Right. So the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off. Right? I think so. No, I don't think that method is possible because... Oh, the ladder couldn't have been used in this crime because I can prove it because the ladder doesn't read the window. There was no time to move it. The ladder can't be moved. There was no time to move it. It's got to be that one, right? No, apparently not. It must be the bottom option then. The ladder doesn't reach the window. That's it. Just, just to the fish tank, doesn't it? The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. Ah, that's right. If oh, the other the side. If you the ladder on the pool side... It would not quite make it. That should have been phrased a little better there, because you were you were making me think that it was just from the one side, you know what I'm saying? Game. Not the Papa Salty. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? Correct. If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. And they couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. And it'd make one hell of a noise. Then Gonta used his tarred strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. No, I don't think so. Gentlemen not throw dead bodies or ladders. Exactly, gentlemen caress ladders. The body could not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. Exactly, and there would be water everywhere as well. So it needed to be lowered. Got it, muscle head. Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Sorry, you're right. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. Yeah, you literally did nothing wrong, buddy. How the culprit moved the body from the window. Rope, rope, rope. <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Don't get cocky, Kaito. You'll mess it up. Do you have the answer then? But of course. Come on, Kaito. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow him all away with the truth. What? what? You uh, tell him. I uh, actually don't know that yet. Well, that was anticlimactic. What? <laughs> the culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. Seriously? Come on, dude. You, you... Serves you right. You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty. You made a fool out of me too. Dudes just need to shut up and take their licks. Excuse me. What are we you gonna offering? do, Shuichi? We gotta figure this out or we're done for. Exactly. Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi. Hey, there's a lot of pressure to put on a boy. Uh, I know. I have to do something, but... I don't know what to do yet. I haven't figured that out yet. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am I... Am I no good as a detective? I, I, I can't do this. I, I, I can't. I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. No, but it leads to who did it. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Oh, oh that's, that's good. Killed? Yeah. Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Well, we know where that one was. Yes, that's it. Good work, Mackie. We were Thank so you. caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> that's strange. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Oh, that would be clever, wouldn't it? Then... Culprit is someone in this room. Oh, go and tell you. <laughs> I love you. That's important to remember. It's not as if everyone here wants us to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage this trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. That's not a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was when Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get out of the cold. 
What? Imikawa under the bridge? <laughs> what? The thing I'm thinking about, right, is who knew about Ryoma's room? Because Ryoma probably let a lot of people into the room, but daily, Kurumi would have been in there. Did he not ask Kurumi to clean his room? Or was that somebody else? So Kurumi would know where the handcuffs were. She would know about the basin um, that was used, or at this point in time we suspect, is where he was drowned. And she would know about the windows. She knows this place better than anyone, probably, because she's been going around cleaning, doing chores for everybody. So Kurumi is actually top of my list at the moment, even though I don't want that to happen, because I really, really like her. All depends on what was in her video. If we can determine where all this started, we can determine how it ended. Yes, it's much too soon to quit. The trial has only just begun. Hell Thank yeah! You, Maki. That was a helpful insight. I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. Well, that was unnecessary. <laughs> Kurshuichi. Right, okay. So we've got piece of fabric, pool, First, rules. Let's okay. Establish the crime scene. Right, okay. Wasn't it the dorm room? No, it wasn't. Yomo was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. No, he wasn't. But the cause of death was drowning. That is true, so we need the Monokuma there files too, I think. nothing in his room that could collect enough water. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? No, filthy. Oh, no toilet. Impossible. Nope. Nope. No, we it was his sink. The places where water is stored. Yes, yes, his bathroom. The only place that fits is the pool. No, it's not. Even if you use magic, there's no other way. No, that's not huh? right. It must be the pool then. No, it's not the pool. I know now why it's not the pool. Turn drowned in the toilet. No, 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 no. He did. Well, he might have drowned Shut in the your toilet. Mouth, you noisy sow. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Oh, agree with the sow. Agree with the sow. <laughs> the cause of death is a certainty. Ryoma drowned in water. The pool seems like the obvious answer, but I have my doubts because the pool rules suggest if anybody even looks at the water nastily or even thinks about going inside, dipping their little toe inside that pool for a little midnight splash of roo, then the alarms go off and the exiles come and tear them apart. There, shoot that, shoot that. There we go. Boom. Counted that. You can't go inside the pool at night, girl. Has nobody been listening? It's been referred to loads in this trial. The pool Idiots. could not have been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at nighttime. Pay attention, class. No swimming is allowed at nighttime, so a living person could not have gone in. Yep, a dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, I think I might cry. Oh, why? Cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. That's odd. In the morning after, I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I quietly leave. Only after you leave do I realize how much you really mean to me. What is this? Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. F*** the Patriots. Okay, okay. Well. Anyway, we can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? My belly. Where was Ryoma killed? I know there's some kind of clue. The it was where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's to do with the stone sink. Was it called stone sink? Scratch sink. Here we are. This is it. We got him. We got the scratch sink because of the scratch marks. The sink in Ryoma's lab. There were distinct scratch marks on it. Scratch marks on the sink? Yeah, he was like a cat clawing at it. No, it was it's the handcuffs. And I believe those scratches were caused by... The handcuffs. Where are they? Scratched handcuffs. This is it! The handcuffs. They were scratched as well, correct? Yeah. Well, yeah. Sort of looked like they'd been scraped against something. Multiple things, actually. There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lap. The marks on the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ryoma was wearing them, right? Yep. Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. We did see him with them on. Definitely did. And then obviously they dropped afterwards because they weren't attached to anything anymore. I am certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Drown him? What a nasty way to go as well. That's a horrible way to rip. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. 
arms, legs, brain. Really? Stop saying disgusting things. I don't want to hear it. That Ooh. crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. Look, may nice stop it. Stop! Please stop! Just smack him up. You're right beside him. But how did culprit handcuff Ryoma? He must have trapped him. He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed him? Ooh. It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. That's what him. I think happened. <laughs> Though there's no way we can be sure now that he's not but bones. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by... Uh, whoops. Don't pay attention to little old me. I'm just talking to myself. If you know something, spit it out, son. When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. What? What? So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap, right? Right. That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. Horrible. All right, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. Really? But how did the culprits carry his body to the gym from there? They didn't. They so pushed it out the window. On the third floor of the academy? Yeah, they pushed him out the window. It's actually not far at all. Actually, they lowered it. Although, perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? Yup, yup, yup. What shortcut between Ryoma's lab and the gym did the culprit use? Window, baby. Threw him right out the window. Here we are. There. Hoisted him over the edge. The shortcut is the window in Ryoma's lap. The window? Mm. That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Except the, the two here. Except the one in Ryoma's lap. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gym straight across. dropped Ryoma's body into the pool area from the lab window? They lowered it. Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. Still, I'm not still 100% sure how they've done that. They've obviously used the wire from the tennis net and they've used the rope that was in the gym. But to do it all, I'm still not 100% how they've managed to tie it all together. All right. Excuse mission me, complete. Not mission complete, Your Tenko. Your explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. What? The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside. Even if one used the ladder. They pulled him up. That's right. I apologize. I must go on a journey to reflect on this. We keep hitting dead ends since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. Hmm. Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now that I'm sure the scene of the crime was Ryoma's lab, the case is becoming clearer. To determine how the body got from the crime scene to where it was found, I have to figure out how to get from the third floor window to the gym. All right then, I have to analyze the possible methods and find the most likely. Yes, yes, let's do it. Broom, broom, ladies, your boy is on the road. Okay, here we go. We've got a, oh, I don't know what that is, a WH? Okay, so we've got to keep going. We've got concentration as well. We just need to pick up loads of these things. Nothing better than a healthy drive through your mind in the middle of a class trial. People think I've just spaced out and I'm just going crazy over here. The body was brought from where? Where was the body brought from? Okay, so we're going to have a couple of options up here for remember it from the demo correctly because we didn't have the, come on. Come on, get that off my, my screen. I'm trying to drive here. Where it Lab window, lab door. It's got to be the window. It has to be the the window. Come on, lady, get in my car. Even though you should be ripperonied. Time to pick up some more ladies. So, honey, does my sports car and open top roof uh, get you in the mood for some sweet, sweet, passionate cheesecake factory dates? The body was brought to the gym from where? From Ryoma's room, probably. Oh, no, from the pool. From the pool area. Has to be from the pool. The gym window. Has to be the gym window as well. Has to be the gym because they didn't go through the gym door. They had to go through the window. Thank you very much. The girls are screaming good at me. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies. But we're not ending this journey here, ladies. We got another one to pick up. I'm a real ladies' man today. How was it moved from the classroom window to the gym window? Okay. Hmm, thinking time. A rope. It had to be a rope, didn't it? But is it going to be a specific rope? From window to window via the pool. No, it was via the pool. It was definitely via the pool. It wasn't. No, really? From straight from window to window? Are you sure? Was the t was the tire tube then used 
Did they tie the rope from one side to the other side and let and then use the rubber ring to slide him along? No. That couldn't have been it, could it? Did they use him as some sort of slide? I've got it. Ryomo's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. Not quite. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. Oh, they so did. I didn't realize how much higher up we actually are. Because Shuichi right now is looking down onto the gym window from Ryoma's lab's window. So tying a rope over here to over to the other side, using the rubber ring as well, tying Ry Ryoma to the rubber ring, and then you just slide him down. He's a light boy after all. No, I don't believe he was thrown, but perhaps another way. This is amazing. What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. They did, they did, they did. Huh? Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Equipment to connect the windows? I believe it was found near the body. Yes, it was. Uh, There it is, there's the rope. What? There. Yeah, that's why I cl clicked. Wait a minute, what? That was, that was unfair. The gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Very unfair, that one. Thank you very much, game. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. Really? Is he finished what from his angry nap? Mystery. During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. Oh, okay. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. Okay, ask him then, please. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope. That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? No, but it's attached, tied to another rope. The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. As for the distance between the windows... Yes. According to the sign at the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. Right. We've got maths genius on the go here. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Okay, so it's Altogether, not... Altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. Which is why the other rope was needed, or the wire from the tennis court. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's a compliment. Wait, who said that? Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Yeah, that is true. Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. No, they're not, because um, if you're in the... You use the ladder on one side, and on the other side, you just tie it to the thing just above the window. They were both attached to rafters, because we saw the wear marks. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. Exactly! Another rope? There was only one, though. No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. Go to oh, smart. Then it impossible. Sorry. No, go to. You're on the right tracks, buddy. No, I'm sure there was another rope, or at least something that could be used as a rope. Yes, there was. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where have we, where have we got it? Tennis net cable. This is it! Exactly. Thank you very much, Gunta. You're a smart boy. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? About 50 feet or so. But how do they use it? Okay, so... First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to other side. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And tie cable to other window. Yep, yep, yep. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. Yes, yes, yes! That how culprit make one rope that reach both windows. Gunta, smart boy! Gunta, genius boy! Give this man a wow, reward! That's amazing, Gunta! You're so knowledgeable! Now everyone's gonna suspect him. <laughs> it, it's nothing. Gunta use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Oh, he's blushing. Even if they did connect the windows with a rope. They can't carry a body on just that. No, You're they can't. I got it! Go on then. Thomas Edison once said 
that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. What? So he sweats a lot. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration. <laughs> Judging by the way this room is, I'm on 100% perspiration. Forget it. Just tell us already. They handcuffed the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! V actually, very close, I think. The body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Wow. Oh. Oh. She enjoys getting treated like dirt. Tarzan? Um, but... They also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? Mm-hmm. That is not feasible with just one rope. No. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. No, they used the rubber inner tube as well. Not just the rope. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. We wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. But is there really a way to do that? Hmm. Kokichi, are you hinting at something? Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. What? You're confusing me. You were definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit wouldn't have been able to retrieve it. They would have only had one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully, meaning they would have wanted to get it as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? How did they get near it? Okay, all that we know right now is that there was a rope that connected the windows. Somehow the culprit used that to move the body and were close to the window themselves. Hmm, to make that work, they had to have used something else. But what would that be? What could they have done? All right, Shuichi. The stage is finally set. Let's do this, buddy. What? Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. Good work, Kaito. It all starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. Yes, baby. And then together, we're going to save everyone. Together? Hell you yeah. You got this. After all, you are my sidekick. I believe in you, so I'm going to leave the rest to you. Yeah. Come on. That's a beautiful bromance there. Okay, I, I can do this. I will solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the rope to move the body between the two windows. Think. Come on, think. Well, we know what it is. It's the rubber inner tube. Hang Hangman's Gambit. What What's it called? Inner tube, rubber tube, what will it be called? What's the anagram? Come on! What did the culprit fashion to move the body between the windows? Well, it was like a rope slide or a rope thing, was it not? Rope what? It's not rope slide, it's not rope thing. I don't know what it is. What is it? Rope way, rope way. Okay. I would never call that a rope way. I'd call it like a rope slide or a rope trick or a rope hoopla. I don't know, but a rope yes, way will do. That's it. The culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. Is that the official title for what I'm trying to say? Where they, where they put the, you, you, you get like, you attach something and the rope's in between it and you slide down it like this? Like, like this? A ropeway, huh? Are you sure about that? Yeah, because we use the inner tube. Wow, you got drain damage or something? What? You'd need some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway and we don't have that. Yes, we do. Why does nobody look at the evidence? Okay, here we go, baby. Let's, um... Let's get rid of this to start with, and let's find out where that inner tube is. It's here. I, 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 I unfortunately messed up that last bit, but that was almost perfect. I, I did like that. Inner tube, finally. We're on the right tracks here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to complete this trial, but I still don't know who it is. It's the inner tube. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. I reckon somebody that can go in the closet and has knowledge of that closet because that's how they blew, blew the inner tube up because they used the electric machine in there. So somebody who has a knowledge of the pool might know or might be the culprit. The inner tube? Yeah. Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side? Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. Ooh. The culprit made a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. That's brilliant. And because the third floor window is higher up, 
gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. That's not exactly how I was thinking about that it was used, but that's perfect. That's better than my way. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. But could the ropes have supported two people? Who know? Who has a really good knowledge of rope tying? That's the thing. The culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway. Who knows how to use ropes? Somebody does. A Himiko, would she know to do with her magic tricks? Would Karumi know how to do this? She seems knowledgeable about loads of things, but I don't know who else would be. And used it to move themselves and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. This is whack. This is so whack. I love Once it. Through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. It's genius. Either that, or the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. Absolutely. would be genius. more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. How did they leave the scene? Well, when you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. But wow, a ropeway! How did they get from the window down though? Because they would have broken their ankle. You say the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. Isn't that against school rules? They didn't technically go in though. It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Monokuma, clear this up. Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. So somebody actually asked you about it, okay. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out. But standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? They won't reveal it. Eh? It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Exactly. You've messed up there, Monosuke. <gasps> oh, shit! You messed up there, buddy! You put your foot in your mouth? His foot?! Monosuke just unhinged his jaw and swallowed his entire leg! Cut it out! I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it! <laughs> then your little slip-up is actually the truth! Perfect! 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 Pops? Oh, you, you're gonna be ripped, mate. Uh-oh, Pops is mad. Uh -oh. Daddy's mad at you now! Don't call him daddy or I'll get mad at you! Yeah. Don't look at me! This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time! Uh -oh. Stop! Do not bully Monosuke. Huh? No more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh. I want us all to get along. Bless him. Monodum's right. Monosuke, you better thank Monodum. Less attitude and more gratitude. Got it? Man, the trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip-up? Oh no, it's spicing up now, mate. But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. So Culprit really used ropeway to move body? Yeah, they used the ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy ass sh Exactly! But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Yeah. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Exactly. Then throw it in the gym, yeah. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. I see, I see! The rope was thrown from the window! That's why we found it there! Exactly! With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. Exactly, they would have plenty but of time. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? Because it fell in there, obviously. I believe that was an accident. Yeah. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Yep, yeah, and you can't go in the pool once it's in there. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? Pool rules! Come on! The reason the culprit left it in the pool is obvious! Of course it is! The rules! Oh, it's nighttime! Does nobody it. pay attention! <laughs> 
Come on, Karumi, you're smarter than Even that. If they wanted to get it, they couldn't, because this took place at nighttime. I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at nighttime. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, couldn't have picked it up. The steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. It'd be different if they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag tube in. Sounds like a lot of work. I can see why they just left it there. Yeah, it would take too long. And they would have been busted if someone saw them. Huh? What kind of clumsy that drops an inner tube and can't retrieve it? Savage. Savage Let me tell always. You, this culprit's a real amateur. Actually, they're really good at what they've no, done. Actually, save for that one mistake, this was the perfect crime. Yeah, they did a really good job. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. Exactly. Well, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Mm. Shut up. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a ropeway. Neither did I. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. What are you, stupid? Don't re No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close, we're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. So, who is it? I don't know. Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to start the main event. Oh, really? But my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll oh. let him take this one. Oh, that's very, that's very, very kind to you, Kaito. Very kind mm -hmm. to you. Ah, okay. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Don't put it out like that. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? No. Yes, I have a good idea who the culprit is. Hey, what? Shuichi, are you hesitating again? Yes. What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. Please tell me it's not you. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Okay. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have had to have been prepared in the gym well beforehand. <laughs> Knowing that narrows the list of subjects or suspects. I, I think I think it's her. I think it's Kurumi. I really do. It has to be you. Oh, it is. Oh, I was right. That's blown There's my one mind. One more thing I still have to confirm. But Kurumi is the prime suspect. I knew it was her. Oh, I've got goosebumps. I didn't expect it. Me? Yes, you. What? K Kirumi? Yeah, because she's always been about. She's been, um, she could have set it all up. She was de dealing with the curtains at the back of the place. She only went in there for five minutes. Was it so all she needed to do was set up a ladder? It, like, and, or, and set up the rope, take the rope, and tie it up, up the top because the curtain was closed, remember, over the window. So all she needed to do is quickly go up there, tie a knot, and then come down and out. It's easy. Oh... So Kirumi is the culprit! That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Wild, wild, is wild. Is this true, Kirumi? I think it is. I cannot believe you would suspect me. No, it was you because you... They always make it kind of obvious by when people start interjecting a lot as the time goes on. Plus, it makes sense because she... I'm sure she was asked to clean Ryoma's room so she could then obviously see the handcuffs. She sees the basin. She knows exactly what she needs to do in his room. And Ryoma wouldn't suspect her if she was suddenly in his place. Why, why would he? Because she's cleaning. Cliffhanger time! Karumi, baby, oh, what are you doing? You're supposed to be our mother, not a murderer. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end off this video here. I'm very, very sorry for the massive Rasbowski-style cliffhanger, but 
If you want to see the rest of the video and the rest of the trial, it will be happening tomorrow. Same time tomorrow, same place tomorrow, and you know you're gonna love it. Oh, and remember to bring the tissues. If you enjoyed today's video and you're hyped for the next one, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. We've been absolutely smashing the like goals on every single one of the videos, so that's why we've got another bonus video today. If you keep hitting 2K, I'll keep doing the extra work each and every single week. These videos take a long time to do, so the fact that I love it and the fact that you love it really does make my job easy because it's just such a beautiful game and I cannot wait to see what happens tomorrow. I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful Raspberries as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!